Hello. Welcome back to Q&A with Dr. K. Today's question has to do with type 2 diabetes and how long does it take to reverse type 2 diabetes once you've adopted a whole food plant-based diet? Well, our understanding of type 2 diabetes has certainly advanced. Uh, when I was a young medical student, uh, the issue and the focus was on sugar, sugar, sugar. Don't eat too much sugar because that blood sugar is going to go way up. And that's true. <laughs> if you have type 2 diabetes and eat a bunch of sugar, you're going to walk out with high blood sugar levels. But the cause of the condition is not too much sugar in the diet. It's too much fat in the diet. We are now learning that the standard Western diet is filled with fat, the bacon and eggs for breakfast, the cheeseburgers for lunch, the fried chicken for dinner, the ice cream for dessert. You're constantly keeping fat in your blood. Uh, and as the weeks and months go by, that fat infiltrates into the muscle cells, the liver cells, and they start clogging up the insulin receptors on the inside. So sugar, uh, when it's consumed, it makes the pancreas put out a squirt of insulin uh, and insulin should lock on to insulin receptors uh, and uh, allow the cells to pull sugar from the blood into the cells where it can be burned for energy. But if the insulin receptors are all clogged up on the inside uh, from the fat in the diet, then uh, the insulin molecules locks on to the receptors here, but nothing happens on the inside. The insulin knocks on the door, but nobody answers. So chronic fat in the diet certainly will uh, clog up the insulin receptors from the inside. And then if the person happens to be obese and there's a large amount of abdominal belly fat, that abdominal fat is metabolically active and it's pumping out these molecules called inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-1, interleukin-6, and they interfere with the insulin receptors from the outside. So between the uh, the fat accumulating uh, inside the cell, inhibiting the insulin receptor enzymes, and the cytokines from the obese abdomen uh, inhibiting uh, the insulin receptors on the outside. No wonder so many obese people develop type 2 diabetes. Now, this is a reversible disease. Those insulin receptors are still there. The pancreas is still putting out insulin. Uh, nothing irreversible at this stage has happened. But uh, we've got to start changing the conditions to allow those insulin receptors to start working again. Well, guess what the treatment is, of course, is a, a diet based on whole plant foods, uh, lots of salads and soups and steamed veggies and uh, soups and stews and chilies, et cetera. But uh, this should be fairly low fat. Uh, this is not the time to be eating uh, lots, of, uh, lots of nuts and seeds and, a, and two avocados a day, but you, know, you don't want to Keep your insulin receptors clogged up with uh, animal with uh, with vegetable fats, and you sure don't want to be pouring olive oil and other liquid oils on your uh, on your food. That again is going to increase insulin resistance. So a diet based on whole food, plant based diet is the key, and a low fat version of that. Plus, good walk every day. Good good thirty minute walk. Rev that engine up. Get lots of blood flowing through your muscles and your liver. That helps clearing uh, to clear out the insulin receptors from the inside as well. So if you do that and you're not carrying lots of weight, uh, you often see significant improvements uh, in your morning blood sugars uh, and the, uh, the readings you get off your continuous glucose monitor within certainly two weeks for sure. And by six weeks, you should be noticing a change should be, and the majority of people do. However, there are people with lots of abdominal belly fat or whose insulin receptors are really clogged up on the inside. And it may take these folks a few months to really start unclogging their insulin receptors. Uh, and to those folks, I would say, do not get discouraged. It is okay. Uh, you, every day, your insulin receptors, every hour, your insulin receptors are a little bit less clogged up than they were an hour before, the day before, the week before. So, you know, food is your medicine. It's really true in type 2 diabetes. So every salad is medicine for you. Every helping of steamed greens and yellow vegetables and every bowl of vegetable soup, that's medicine for your insulin receptors and will help you get leaner uh, and uh, get out from under that scourge of type 2 diabetes. So a whole food, low, a low fat, whole food plant-based diet and tincture of time, as they say, uh, is the uh, is the key for 
for overcoming type 2 diabetes. Uh, now, uh, you often need a little encouragement uh, to do this, a little guidance. And I would really encourage, if you're not familiar with the folks at this wonderful online program called Mastering Diabetes, and you're struggling with type 2 diabetes, please go to masteringdiabetes.com and enroll in their program. You'll get some real expert help uh, on how to overcome uh, this, uh, this condition and get you back to the point where you're eating a whole food plant-based diet and waking up in the morning with, uh, uh, with normal blood sugars because it is a reversible disease. So I hope that helps. The answer is a minimum two weeks, but it may take few months, six months or, or longer, you will get there. Perseverance further, as, as the I Ching says. So keep on keeping on. Uh, as uh, Dr. Furman says, the salad is the main dish. And he's right, especially now when it comes to reversing type 2 diabetes. So eat those salads and soups and veggies and take those walks and know that uh, eventually you're going to wind up with normal blood sugars in the morning. Hope that helps.